Editing, Work in Progress. Virtual Cabinet gives you the ability to create new versions of a document whilst never losing or overwriting the old versions. Editing a document in Virtual Cabinet can be done through several methods. You can edit a document in your in tray. Do this by selecting the Edit option from the ribbon or right clicking and selecting Edit. You can edit a document which has been indexed into a filing cabinet, find the document and select Edit. If you forget to choose Edit and you open the document, when you click on the document to change it, you'll be prompted to press the Edit button if you wish to make any changes. You can also edit a document by opening it from Word, Excel or PowerPoint. If you go to the Virtual Cabinet tab and choose Open, you can search for a document filed into VC to edit, carry on editing a document you have already checked out, or select one of your 10 most recently accessed documents to edit. Documents are stored in the Work in Progress tab while you are editing them. Other users can see you are working on the documents as they are shown in red, and they will not be able to edit them until you are finished. Other users will still be able to view the document. You can reach the Work in Progress tab by clicking Work in Progress on the ribbon near the top of the window. The Work in Progress tab has two main elements. A selection of buttons along the ribbon at the top of the window. A current Work in Progress panel that lists the documents you are currently working on. In Virtual Cabinet, a document is listed in red whenever it is being worked on. If you are editing documents from more than one cabinet, then there will be a tab at the top of the list for each cabinet. You can switch to another tab by clicking on it. A full selection of document actions are presented on a context menu when you right click on a document in the work in progress. These are the same actions that can be performed through the buttons on the ribbon. As you have seen, you can edit documents within virtual cabinet in trays and you can edit documents which have been indexed into Virtual Cabinet filing cabinets. The behaviour is different depending on where you edit the document. If you edit the document from the in tray, the new version of your document will overwrite the previous version of the document, in a similar way to how documents are saved in Windows Explorer. However, if you edit a document which has been indexed into a filing cabinet, a new iteration of the document will be saved, superseding but not overwriting the previous one. When you search for documents in filing cabinets, you will see the version column. When a document is indexed into a filing cabinet, it is added as version 1. If a user edits and saves a new version, the version number will be incremented. Here we have a Word document filed in Virtual Cabinet. If we scroll along, we can see the version column which shows the current version number for the document. If I choose to edit the document, it will open edit mode for me, ready to make my changes. We can make some changes to the document and use the normal file, save or control S commands, or use the save icon to save our work as we go along. Once we are finished, we can either close the document and we will be prompted to save the document as a new version, or we can go to the Virtual Cabinet tab and select the Save icon. This will save down the changes that we have made, remove the document from the Work in Progress area and change the document from appearing in red to black, overwriting the previous document. You will see in the Virtual Cabinet tab there is also the option to discard, dropping any changes we have made and saving the document as it was before we started working on it. When you come to close the document, there are three choices. If you hover over the buttons, you will see further information about that option. 
Yes. The current document will be saved into Virtual Cabinet as the latest version. The document will be checked back into the system and will no longer appear in red. The link to the document in the Work in Progress tab will be removed and the version number will be incremented. No. The current document will remain checked out for editing in Virtual Cabinet. Use this option if you are not ready to create a new version and intend on making further changes later. The document will continue to appear in red and it will show in the Work in Progress tab. Discard. The current document will be discarded. Virtual Cabinet will revert to the previous version. The document will be checked back into the system and will no longer appear in red. The document will be removed from the Work in Progress tab. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.